Onboard cargo meetings. Chief officer's briefing prior to cargo operation. A pre-cargo operation briefing is held on board between chief officer and all deckhands with regards to loading and unloading plans. Chief officer must brief crew about type of cargo to be carried and planned tanks for loading or unloading. Which side of vessel will go alongside and what are the mooring configurations? Which manifold to be used and size of reducer to prepare valve before arrival at port? Range of tide and if any extra precautions need to be taken for mooring during port stay. Crews stations and duties during cargo operations. Are any stores or spares expected to be received during stay at port? List of visitors expected to board during vessel stay at port. Security level followed by the terminal and vessel at loading or unloading port. The crew are to understand and adhere strictly to the plans. Crew must then sign the plan as an acknowledgement of understanding. Pre-cargo operations meeting between ship and shore. A pre-cargo operation meeting is held on board between ship and shore. Items discussed in this meeting include specified smoking areas, restrictions on fires in galley and use of cooking facilities, Criteria for stopping and suspending of cargo work and weather forecast. Information on safety regulations and pollution prevention regulation of the terminal and the harbour. How to obtain help from shore in case of emergency. Procedure of emergency shutdown system. Method of communication between ship and shore. Maximum allowable cargo handling quantity, unloading rate, and the maximum pressure. Method of stop loading and quantity to be received after giving a stop order. Matters pertaining to measuring quantity and sampling of the cargo. Details of cargo with respect to temperature, specific gravity, and composition. Matters concerning replenishment of fuel oil, water, ship supplies and provisions. Any special requirements to discharging of ballast water. Whether vapour return gas may be acceptable. Weather condition while alongside berth. Any restriction for crew shore leave and mode of transport. A joint declaration is made on ship shore safety checklist. Written agreement is made between ship and shore of the following. Method of communication. Emergency signal to be used. Emergency shutdown procedure. Maximum working pressure. Closing rate of ESD valves. Maximum and minimum temperature of the cargo to be handled.